When you energetically let somebody go, it completely changes the energy around the situation. And so many times I've seen it where when people actually let somebody go, it allows them to bring their energy back and then it changes the whole entire dynamic. So in this video, I'm going to show you why that is, what actually happens energetically and what you can do about this to shift the energy, to allow yourself to be more centered and safe inside of your own frame and ultimately also more magnetic. Now, when thinking about this uh, and you look at it, have you ever seen this happen in your own life with friends, with family, with anybody you've seen go through this, where let's say somebody goes through a breakup and they're taking it really hard and it's really hard for them and they just can't get someone out of their mind. They're thinking about this person getting back to them. They're thinking of ways of like re-engaging with somebody else. But no matter what they do, it seems like it's actually making the situation worse. And then something might happen where they'll go out with friends, they'll go do something, maybe go on a vacation, or they'll start to focus on their own self-growth or something, and they stop investing their energy into that specific person, and then all of a sudden, the energy shifts and that person reaches out, there's a different type of energy there, and it's almost like that person has more vibrancy and more energy. Well, what is happening energetically between these two different people is what you want to understand when it comes to letting someone go. The reason the energy changes so much when you let someone go is you stop projecting energy at them. So energetically, when you think of this, think of almost like two stick figures and think of like a ball around these two stick figures. And this ball of energy is simply the energy field. We all have an energetic field that goes far beyond our body. And what happens is when we are thinking of somebody else, we are literally sending them energy and projecting energy at them. Now, there's an interesting thing that also happens with this, which I'll get into, where normally the person, not normally, but sometimes what might happen is the person that is um, want, the person wants space. They're literally wanting space and they're wanting to separate from the energy. They're wanting to get back to themselves. And what happens is the more somebody's sending energy at them, they're feeling that. And anytime we think, like we live in a collective consciousness where all of us are connected. So when we think of somebody else, we project energy at them. And I know this too. I did a live event recently um, here in Austin. And it is so crazy. Some, one of the, the guests came up, one of the participants, and she came on stage to be coached. She's like, wow. She's like, when I'm up here, I feel so high. She felt high when she was on stage. And there is something that's very often known in the speaker community of people that do live events. There's a high that happens. And so it's very important for people to be integrity because they can abuse that, that high, that energy, uh, that power in a way. And what it is, though, is when many people are focused on someone, they're projecting energy at this person. Now, what happens is when we're thinking of someone continuously and we're in a relationship with somebody else, our energy fields are literally intertwined, like intertwindled or tangled, entangled. And what happens is when we want space, we are moving that energy back to be separate. Now, what happens is if somebody, if two people decide, or maybe one person decides that they're going to end the relationship and maybe somebody else is distraught about it, the more this person thinks of that person and wants things to be different, the more that that is actually pulling the person to go away. It's literally repelling them. And think about the person that is thinking about this person, this other person, they're feeling resistance. They're feeling this person's maybe not responding to me. There's something wrong. Uh, this person's not coming around. There's something wrong. I want this, which means I lack this, which means this person is doing what I want, so it's wrong. And then that resistance is being projected at the other person because whatever we feel, other people feel. We're projecting it out to them. So in the energy of projecting that energy towards somebody else, they're literally feeling that energy and it is having them go away and walk away. Now, energetically, when you let go, it allows the energy to then clear, which then has a magnetizing effect. And this is what I'm talking about when I say I've seen this happen so many times, even in my own life. I remember one of my first girlfriends ever when I was um, in high school, I was in a relationship, not even, I don't even know, like six months or something like that. 
and we were in a relationship and then it was very hard for me. I did all these super crazy anxious attachment style stuff or um, we, I would call all the time, we would talk and what ended up happening towards the end is I had this pattern of choosing people that didn't choose me in a way that kind of chose me but kind of didn't. So I was in this pattern where what was happening is towards the end of it, it was getting frustrating and I was kind of like, I felt kind of like it was happening to me in a sense where I was like, she's not getting back to me, she doesn't like me. And it even got to the point to where this person went to a school dance with somebody other than me, even though I was her boyfriend. And it was an interesting dynamic and she got a lot of flack from her friends and other people for that. And I remember in that moment, you know, I didn't feel chosen and that was my trauma. I, I believed that people, I wasn't worthy enough to be chosen, but nonetheless, it was a dynamic where I was chasing that validation, that approval. And it was also, I was like 17, 18 years old. It was my first girlfriend ever because many of you know the story from seven to 15, I had no freedom at all. So I wasn't even allowed to have uh, a girlfriend at that time. But then what happened was something interesting. It was very hard, it was very challenging for me. And then like a month later, I started to make other friends. And then I started to date and I had like other like dating potentials. And as I was exploring those, I really started to let go of this person. As I started to let go of this person, I stopped sending her energy. I stopped caring if she even called me and I completely let it go. And then I was dating and kind of like just going on dates with somebody else. Well, interestingly enough, what happened is once this person felt that after a month or two and then noticing I wasn't chasing anymore, then she was all of a sudden calling me, crying, wanting to get back together. And it was this big situation thing. And I was completely unattached and had moved on. And I remember um, like it was so much easier for me because I'd already let go. But the energy completely switched once I actually let go. So the interesting thing about this is this energy dynamic that I'm explaining. The, 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 there's like one of two options here. Either you let them go and you realize that the story you were making in your mind about this person may not actually be true. Sometimes we do that. We put people on pedestals and we, we make things a lot more glorified than we are. We even develop certain stories about like what this person, um, like what this person, like the halo effect, they call that. And once we let that go, that will help not put it on a pedestal. It doesn't mean we put them under a pedestal. We put them on the floor or anything. It just means we stop putting them all the way up here because anything we put on a pedestal, we create what is called excess potential which is really excess meaning, which then makes it really, really important that things go well, which f messes up the energy. And then it separates us from it. Now, the second option is to actually reframe the meaning you give to this person where you can realize maybe you had a great type of reflection back to it and forth from each other, but it's like you reduce the resistance that you feel about this person by understanding that the relationship served its purpose. Maybe it made you more aware of yourself, your own sense of self-worthiness, your own sense of value. But regardless, the idea is to, re is to release the energy of resistance. Because energetically, when we're attached, we're creating resistance. Remember, the Buddha said it himself. At least that's what we think he said. <laughs> suffering and attachment. Attachment and desire is the root of all suffering. So the more we stay attached to other people, wanting their validation, approval, or even their love and support, or whatever it is, the more we want that, the more we resist it, and the more we end up repelling it energetically. I've explained this in a couple of recent videos, so forgive me for being repetitive. I make five videos a week. But um, at a live event that I've been to before, I remember... The, uh, the, there was a lady that did a TEDx talk on energetics and she said to the crowd, send me energy, send me energy. She's like, oh, we'll do this energy exercise right now. Well, I'll show you the difference between these two energies. And she's like, send me energy, send me energy, send me, everyone was sending her projecting energy at her. She said it was making her repel and move backwards. She said, okay, now I want you to bring the energy into your body, bring it back, bring it back into your body, feel inside your body. And as she did that, she said she could feel like almost magnetically pulled towards the audience. And I'll say that as well, just from sometimes I'll, I'll meet people that may recognize me from my videos. And if they're like, if they put me on a pedestal, I'm like, oh my God, Aaron, oh my gosh, you're so cool, blah, 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 blah. It is a very interesting energy. 
I remember first getting on YouTube being like, it'd be so cool. My significance wound. I felt so small and insignificant that I was like, I just can't wait to be recognized in public. And what would happen is people would do that. And if they put me on a pedestal, it'd feel kind of weird. It's like, I almost didn't know what to do with that energy. But if they talk to me, like I'm just <coughs> normal person, it's very easy because it's not on a pedestal. It's, it's almost like energetically, people are just responding to the way we're treating them. And if you treat someone like a celebrity, they treat you like a fan. So if you treat somebody that you're dating like this awesome, amazing, just glorified person, it's like energetically they naturally feel like responding in that way. And um, it's, like a, it's like just an energetic way of, of relating also. So energetically, when you let someone go, it lets go of all the resistance it also allows you to come back to self. One thing I'd recommend you do is become aware of, of maybe an abandonment wound that is there. Because a lot of times the reason people are chasing someone else or not having trouble let go of someone else is because they've, they've, te they've tethered on to a similar childhood dynamic from when they were like kids. It feels very familiar. And that familiar energy, they're, they're fighting to prove to their parents that they are worthy. They're, they're trying to close the loop from childhood. And then we get caught in the story that this person is my cure to like healing my childhood trauma and stuff like that. So one thing I highly recommend you do is look at this energy and become aware that what you think, what you might be thinking is like the cure to like your happiness and all of this may just be trying to close the loop on childhood pain, childhood trauma that feels familiar. And what might be more powerful is to actually let them go and to bring your energy back to yourself, to stop abandoning yourself. A lot of times this is an abandonment wound. When you stop abandoning yourself, you start feeling much more strong inside your own frame. And when you're in your own frame or in your own body, you will have very magnetic energy. So um, energetically, that's what's happening. And the truth is the more confident you feel, the more you feel inside your own body, inside your own frame, the more confident you feel, the less you want to attach to other people's energy because you'll feel safe within yourself. You won't find frame in other people. You'll find frame within. Frame is like your, your sense of reality and sense of security. Now, something we're doing July 1st to the 21st is a 21-day confidence love challenge. The confidence love challenge is where you feel self-love and self-confidence. 21 days to a more confident you. And we're going to be going through a process together. This is a process. This isn't something where you we watch videos and it's like a passive thing. You actually do things. There's accountability in a Facebook group. If you've been a part of my 21 day challenges before, then you'll know they take on a life of their own. And it's a way of really wiring in a new you in 21 days, removing the fear, the blocks, the doubt that are keeping you in your current reality that are blocking love from your life. We're going to be also learning about the aspects of love. So taking down the masculine and feminine shield, feeling safe inside of our own frame, polarity. We're going to be talking about all these things. So if you want to join now is the best time to join. Go to www.confidencelovechallenge.com or click the link below and join. Now's the best time to join to get lifetime access to everything when you join right now, which means that even after the 21 days, you can always come back and go through the processes again. And then also, if you want a video that talks more about letting go and why that completely changes the energy and how you can do it even more in detail, this video right here will help you do that. Why is it that when you want someone, when you desire them, they feel that energy and it literally repels them away like a magnet? However, the moment you actually let them go, like right now as I do this, it's really, these are really strong magnets by the way.